okay so enabling the technology okay because of uh, the uh, subject this subject is about electronic commerce okay when we talk about electronic commerce commerce means that doing a business okay and then e uh, electronic means that okay we use the technology okay in, in order for you to uh, uh, selling your uh, product okay or to uh, to do your business okay using the technology okay it means that enabling the technology okay so the objectives are for today lesson okay we will look at the history okay of e-commerce or sometimes we call it as the e-business and then let's look on the effects okay of the e-commerce okay try and effecting the e-commerce the rules of e-business okay and then constructing the e-business architecture okay so let's look okay this is just just ignore that and then let's look what is the history of e-commerce okay before okay the the emerging of the e-commerce okay before the business or before the organization use okay uh, the website and then use the technology use the internet Okay, to sell their products. Okay, before that, okay. Uh, ARPANET is created. ARPA is uh, something like uh, internet uh, connection. Okay, so on uh, in 1969, it evolved and then uh, into it evolved ARPANET. Okay, evolved into TCP or IP. IP means that. Uh, internet protocol okay so and then on that time okay on 1981 then okay the personal computers exploded okay usually uh, this uh, history okay we look at the uh, country like US and UK okay if we compare to the de developing country like Malaysia Indonesia Philippines Thailand okay on that time, on 1981, okay, personal computers is not very popular on that time, okay. But to compare to UK and US, okay, every person is having their personal computers, okay. Because of what, okay, so every person, okay, every business, okay, having the knowledge on how to create the first personal computers, and then. Uh, it's easy to have the uh, items okay to create the computers because of the cost is cheaper. So that's why okay personal computers on that time is exploded. Okay, and then on 1980, 1980 also okay we look at the uh, requirements of the LANs and ones. Okay, LANs means that. Uh, wireless okay wireless internet connection okay that can uh, uh connect between uh, your computer and another computer in the same building okay that is LAN and what wireless okay in U us okay in 1980s uh already there but in malaysia okay it's uh, a little bit late okay uh, about the wireless is a little bit late okay Maybe around 1919, okay, after uh, I was born, okay, 1986, okay, uh, not many people uh, know about the wireless, okay, and also uh, computers on that time is very difficult to find, okay. So the internet, okay, because of the first, uh, after the uh, exploded of the personal computer, so uh, engineer and all the uh, people okay, uh, find out the, the new uh, requirement that is internet okay so in um, in the middle of 1980 okay all people okay know already the internet okay so internet is uh, started on 1990 okay <laughs> middle 80s and 1990 okay so they have the uh, web uh, www website okay 
with HTTP and HTML. Okay, they create engineers, the computer engineers on that time created the www HTTP and HTML. Okay, that this is the address, the okay, protocol address. Okay, to connect with uh, the internet. Ah, okay. So and then general browser technology, okay, created in 1993. On that time, they can uh, browse using the HTTP, okay, in uh, address so that they can find out, okay, what uh, types of um, maybe some of the uh, regarding the activities or some of the uh, products that they need, okay, in uh, internet, okay. So on that time also, okay, uh, they created the GIF, the okay, GIF JPG image, okay. So like, like, uh, uh, like uh, nowadays, okay, we already know the GPG types of, uh, types of, uh, uh, what is called file, okay, we already know, okay, and then it started on 19, in 1990s. Okay, search engine and then after that uh, there is some search engines okay if uh, we look nowadays okay search engine the most popular search engine is google all right so before that uh, they have alta vista and lightbox okay i also uh, did not find cannot find this okay because uh, in okay when i on 1990 uh, until 2000, I just find out uh, what is that search engine. I remember, okay. Before Google, there are some others, okay. Like Internet Explorer, okay. That is the most famous, okay. I don't know whether you are, you know Internet Explorer on this, for the search engine. I don't know whether you find it or not. So and then uh, business transform. Okay, after having the internet, okay, after having the search engine, okay, business transform internet technologies into intranet. Okay, internet is usually for uh, using in the same building. Okay, and, but intranet is outside the building. Okay, they can they can change the information using the uh, internet okay that is intranet extranet to solve integration problems okay so uh, by using the extranet they can uh, integrate and then they can uh, solve the problem okay and then uh, they can exchange uh, the information okay using internet okay it, uh, that is Okay, the means that the easiest way for them, especially in a big uh, organization or company, okay, to integrate okay, or to communicate okay, between maybe HQ and their branches, okay, with uh, maybe the branches is in UK and then the, the headquarters in US, for example, okay, and then. <laughs> on that time after the internet okay so the famous one is java okay java and the web provide new client to the paradigm okay java is the programming process okay Not programming okay and then uh evolve to the uh, okay the engineers okay the it People on that day, on that time, okay, uh, create the audio wave, okay, video, MPG, animation, flash standard, and then broadcast and push technology, and then they have the portal, intelligent web, personal, personalization, okay, general, telecom, audio, video, also, internet, protocol, okay, and then they have a wireless internet access, okay? So wireless internet access services computing, okay? Because of most of the people having the computer, personal computers, okay, they need have, they need to have a wireless internet so that they can access to that internet, okay? 
And then what is the key technology enabling e-commerce evolution? So what is the most the factors? Okay, the factors uh, e-commerce to evolve and then to change, okay, go up the time, okay, and then decreasing cost of because of decreasing the cost of increasing more powerful hardware, okay. For example, G has that processor, okay. If we want to uh, doing the business in using the internet, okay, we should have the hardware or the processor. But on that time, okay, the cost to uh, create the the product, okay, the processor is uh, decreasing. So that's why many of the business can easily have the processor, okay, for the uh, use of their company. And then there is also the introduction of the voice data in it, video data. Uh, so that uh, the business can change the data, okay with other companies okay and then distributed uh, database method okay because of there is some of the distributed database method okay graphical user interface and then there is uh, ip address protocol and then html standard everyone can learn okay, how to create uh, the website using the html so that many business using the electronic business okay and then uh, because of uh, uh, object uh, okay uh, they created the object oriented method such as uh, java okay on that time the knowledge about the technologies increasing okay they know how to uh, doing the programming language, Java is some of the programming language, okay, that, that you, you need to create for the website, okay, there is a programming language, okay, that need to, to create, okay, before we have a website, so everyone uh, have the, that knowledge on that, okay, and then lightweight electronics for mobile, IT, okay, because of the, uh, Another factor is because increasing of the electronic for mobile phone. Okay, for example, palm ring, this is some of the example of the mobile IT. Okay, because of that, okay, okay, because of that, okay, the e-commerce, okay, the the users use of the electronic commerce among the organization is increasing. Okay. And then, so let's look at the business evolution on web. Okay, website. Okay, so if you look, okay, before, okay, when I, uh, uh, 19, uh, 90, okay, I just know how to uh, search for the static web page. Okay, okay, for example, website portfolio brochures okay now the website is just static okay in the internet okay so but now after that okay uh throughout the time okay they create okay the people create dynamic web page okay the dynamic web page is more uh popular on that time for example okay writing the blog okay writing in the blog Okay, web, web page. Okay, before this, I also have uh, my own blog. Okay, so we know how to create a blog. Okay, I'm not sure whether now you uh, have the knowledge to create the blog in the website or not. Okay, on that time, on my okay, uh, when I am a teenager, okay. Uh, what I know is to create the blog, okay, create a blog, and then most of the company, okay, also create the e-commerce site, okay, e-commerce site for them to, uh, maybe uh, to change the information and then to to change the data, okay, between the business, okay, they using the internet, 
Okay, and then after that, they evolve, okay, to the web enabled applications right now. Okay, until now, okay, the most popular uh, web web enabled application, for example, is Google Apps. Okay, so using the Google Apps, okay, we can do anything in Google. We have emails. Okay, what else? We have maps. Okay, we have Google Meet, we have the Google Classroom, many applications, okay, that created by the Google applications, okay. That is the example of the web enable applications, okay. It's the most popular now, okay. So Google, uh, what else? It's about the many, many applications that you can find out with the Google okay so did that is the business evolution on web so many of the business using the Google uh, email okay that uh, especially created for all the, their staff okay like you as a student you also have uh, uh, mails also under East West College East West College is also one of the uh, using the Google apps also, okay but yeah, uh, it's especially for the business purpose. All right. So Google Apps, you have your own uh, email, right? Email address, okay? That have it at eastwest into uh, eastwest dot edu dot Okay, that is special for education. Okay. So that is the business evolution on web. All right. So what is the effects? Okay. Of having the e-commerce okay okay it increased the spam okay because of e-commerce okay everything nowadays using the internet banking okay so you will uh, search for this uh, many of the uh, using this uh, use spam okay and then also have the scammers okay so they can took up our uh, money in in the bank account okay using the TAC number something like that okay so that is the effects of the e-commerce okay the security and the privacy uh, I think is very crucial right now okay so bandwidth load shift workload time shift workplace shift okay so workplace also shift okay maybe many of the business outside there okay uh, their workplace is changed to the home work from home okay because of they can use the uh, uh, internet internet and also they can use the system okay, to key in their data okay about their, their work okay so because of the e-commerce nowadays okay the people nowadays uh, shift the workplace shift the workload okay workload time shift also uh, changes play time shift and then growth online virtual communities okay virtual communities such as uh, um, facebook okay internet uh, uh what we call tiktok <laughs> tiktokers okay so that is the virtual community so I already find find out your your TikTok account, uh, uh, Richelle. <laughs> I already follow your TikTok account, Richelle. Okay, that is the virtual community about TikTokers. Okay, and then the new privacy product. Okay, is about the privacy challenges now nowadays. Okay, everyone, uh, everything you can find out okay, by using our fingerprints. Okay. In our fingertips, okay. So that is the privacy challenges. Ah, Joshua, that one's Okay. My TikTok account is Roswarda. You can follow me, okay? Alright, so let's continue. Effects of e commerce, other than that. Okay, like liberalization, liberalization of pornography. This is also one of the most 
problem okay the problem okay it's easy for you even though my child my child also easy find out okay the pornography side okay the pornography video okay that is very uh, challenging okay nowadays okay and then promise of web pressure beyond our wider streams it's unbelievable where it was okay to reduce the tv consumption because of um, and people nowadays just look at the netflix just look at the youtube okay then just look at the tiktok okay dynamic and free content so everyone can be a content creator okay, if you want to have um, pocket money to increase your uh, your income so you can uh, easily create the content okay, or the videos okay, and then post it to the YouTube okay. if your video is viewing by all, many people so you can have money okay so YouTube can give you money all right so uncharted legal issue okay so because of maybe some of uh, the creators is uh, copycat okay the video okay so nobody uh, nobody care about it okay uncharted legal issues and then reinforcing media okay converging media so before this okay when i uh, uh Teenage, okay, when I only just uh, 15 years old, okay, or just have uh, a newspaper, read the newspaper in order for you to, uh, to know the uh, what is going on outside there, okay, baca surat kabar, okay, sahaja, and then look at the uh, TV, okay, TV station, okay, um, only that okay but now we can have a lot of media social so that can change uh the uh macam macam uh even ataupun macam macam uh info terkini okay yang kita boleh cari dekat uh social media okay access to commodities such as prescription drugs we got number one those of the masalah the effect yeah okay of the economy and that Cut credit card fraud, tax avoidance, many new copyright issues. Okay, that is some of the. It look like in fact it's a problem that arise because of the e-commerce. Okay, man, free access to information. Okay, we can know how to build a bomb or contributing instruction. Okay, that is we call it as disadvantage of having the internet. Okay, accuracy of information sources in crucial whether the information is uh, false or it's a fake or is original we cannot uh, not easily to find out okay kita tak tahu information tu betul ke salah okay hacking and the virus shifting various of competition and this information and the information okay that is all the problems okay i can uh, say like that okay the problems of having the e-commerce okay Okay, where has the e-commerce had the greatest impact? Okay, the greatest impact, okay, using the e-commerce, okay, the, when the business using the e-commerce is the postal service. Okay, and then real estate, estate, communications, radio, TV, finance, entertainment, travel agents, stock workers. Okay, what do all these businesses have in common? Of course. They have in easily change the information, okay, and then the customer also can easily get the information uh, of the travel uh, from the okay travel agency. Okay, we can find out in the website. Okay, just Google okay the IP address. Okay, so then can we find out okay about the travel agency, and then it will. Uh, reduce uh, consumption of our time okay because of if you uh give the master to sync card okay so it will increase our it will decrease our cost okay time is the cost okay and then so the client or the customer can do the self service okay 
okay, self-sufficiency can be by yourself. Something like that. For example, finance, okay. If you want to transfer the money nowadays, you can just go to internet banking. Okay. As simple as that. No need to go to the bank and then queue up, okay. And then to take off the money and then transfer using the uh, CDM, okay, no need to do that. You just have, you just have uh, internet and then computer or smartphone, okay, as easy as that. Okay, that is the greatest impact. Okay, and then let's look at the eight rules of the e-business, okay. First one, okay, technology is the cost and driver. It is no longer an afterthought. Means that to do uh, e-commerce or to do the business online, okay, you must have the technology, okay, uh, the internet, and then you must have the smartphone, okay, or the computers, okay. That is the first rule. And then the second rule, information collection, integration and family, dissemination in the is the business. Okay. So without changing the information, okay, we cannot do the business. Okay. So how can uh, the customer okay how can the uh, business or the company to uh, post the item that made by the customer without the customer details okay that is the information okay that is second rule for e business okay the third one updated business process must go or your business will die okay for example like nokia company nokia okay because of outdated okay their uh, mobile phone did not change okay the technology not change with uh, the technology okay nobody want to buy a nokia handphone okay? not have a function for the smartphone you cannot do anything just to text and to call okay that is outdated business so your business will die same goes nowadays okay if you okay because of the mco if you want to uh, uh, maksudnya nak bertahan masa MCO hari tu you must do online business okay? so else your business will bank down okay? no sales fee tak ada sales fee to company okay? so that is the third rule for e-business and then the fourth one is create flexible outsourcing that side the customers okay? and then uh, E-commerce means the cheapest, the most familiar, or the best. Okay. So, for example, like okay, we have okay, Shopee online. Okay, Shopee, Shopee web or application or Lazada. Okay. Uh, so that you can uh, find out okay the products that you need with the lower prices. Okay. The cheapest, the most familiar, or the best. Okay, that is number five. Okay, the rule. And then number six is enhance the entire experience around the product. Okay, so entire experience. Okay, if you want to buy uh, clothes or skirt or trousers uh, online, okay, where you like to go. Okay, maksudnya dekat mana yang you selalu beli? Richard or Richie? Online. Okay, can you give me an example of a uh, website that you already, uh, you always buy your uh, online, okay? Your product okay, that you need. Dekat mana yang selalu you beli? Richie, Richard. Kat mana selalu you beli online, okay? If you like to buy your product or your items online, Shopee, okay? So, okay, that is because of what we can uh, 
by ourselves, okay, our own experience, we can find out, okay, we can select, okay, the products that you need with your, okay, in using your own specification, and then we can order, okay, put in the cart, and then, okay, then, uh, Lepas tu lah, and then the seller akan post our product and then sampai, okay. Shopee, saya rasa itu is the most uh, cheapest uh, price that can find out, okay. If compared to Lazada and others, okay. And then promote reconfigurable business models to meet customer needs and then the staff staff align business strategy and process path right now. At all at one, and all at one, okay. And then, okay, so okay, before the e commerce is evolved, okay, so what is going on on that time, okay? Okay, if you look at the 1995 until 2000, okay. About 125 billion dollar in financial capital sunk into the new dot com companies, okay, from venture capitalists and later mutual fund holders. Okay, the vision was an easily accessible worldwide market that was self-regulated. Okay, so the extraordinary profits would go to uh, first mover, that is the new intermediary or the new founder. And then the first e-commerce period was driven by the gold rush fever. Few real objectives, few business plan and few humans. Okay. Why the reason of the dot com crash is the corporate America was rebuilding their internal business system. Okay. And then the huge competition in the telecom industry caused the revenue to decrease. Okay. And then uh, on 1999, okay, showed that the e-commerce shopping was not really that popular. Okay, and then because of that, we have evaluation of the IT companies. Okay, what the lesson that can we, uh, what is the lesson from the dot com crash? Okay, from technology perspective, okay, we should ramp up from 1,000 to 100,000, 1 million of users. Okay, a solid technology base. Okay, we can, should have the solid technology base in order to uh, create the e-commerce okay and then from the business perspective okay only 10 percent of dot com survive okay so uh, uh, other than that okay the company fall down okay yet and then but the b2c sales growing at 50 percent per year okay business to consumer sales is growing uh, users have learned to use the web for information about the product and services, okay. So let's look at the trends affecting e-commerce. Okay, what is the trend that affect the e-commerce? Okay, the first one is the consumer trend. Okay, speed of service, self-service, empowerment, integrated solution, not piecemeal product. Okay, it will increase the consumer trend. So the consumer like to have self-service okay so they like to have the speed of service okay without uh, that, uh, without asking what is the price okay so the customer just can look at the item listed with the price okay that is the speed of service that really like by the consumer okay and then self-service okay so the uh, the cons customer or the consumer can choose by themselves okay that is uh, suitable for their uh, features ataupun ciri-ciri yang dia nak dia suka okay so kalau dia tak nak okay so dia boleh uh, tak jadilah beli okay and then that is a self service okay tak ada tak ada paksaan daripada uh, seller untuk membeli uh, that is the self service empowerment and then Service and then let's look at the service process or trends. Okay, convergence of sales and service. And then long-term customer relationship management. 
Okay, flexible fulfillment and service delivery. Okay, service process trends may increase e-commerce because they have service delivery uh, ataupun post delivery. Okay, so before this, okay, we if you want to buy, you can must go to the uh, shop. Okay, so, but nowadays it's very easy. So the uh, the company can uh post or deliver the item to to us to, to the customer and then organizational trends okay organizational trends also change because e-commerce brand not capital contract GIT manufacturing okay retain uh, the core outsource the rest okay and then increase the process of visibility to the to customer and supplier Employee retention continue learning of innovation. Okay. So the uh, the company will can learn okay continue to innovation the service okay to the customers. Okay. And then technology use trends also changes because of the e-commerce enterprise wide applications. Use middleware for integration. Okay. Integrate voice data, video commercial channel and handheld and wireless and exposure okay we can look at because of the technology increasing so nowadays people can uh, organization or business can easily uh, create a content a marketing content to uh, attract the customer okay and then five major predictions okay for the e-commerce future okay this slide is on 2000 okay this slide is actually not the current uh, year okay so e-commerce future they did they uh, uh predict that the e-commerce technology take up will continue to grow by 50 percent until now this actually 2022 okay the e-commerce is growing okay e-commerce prices will rise to cover real cost of doing business on the web okay so because of uh, uh to save the cost uh for uh, the physical location of or place okay they change uh the strategy the business strategy to open up just online okay online business okay the so Right, they will reduce the cost of uh, physical location. Okay, and then e commerce profit will rise to meet the level of brick and mortar store. Uh, I think to meet the level of brick and mortar, you uh, can maksudnya kalau dah ada physical uh, shop dengan online, kita akan dapat achieve sales yang sama banyak juga. Okay, that is by that. Okay. And then major player will become the experience for 500 companies who have been watching. For example, Walmart and then uh, Amazon. Okay, that is all the companies. Okay, dah lama dia menggunakan e-commerce. Okay, online business. The number of successful.com will further reduce and adopt it and risk. Okay, so let's look at the constructing the e-business architecture. Okay, how we can create for the e-business of the company. Okay, the new era of cross-functional integrated application. Okay, this is some of the the things that you need to know. Okay, is the company using the e-business? Okay, procurement management, selling chain management, okay, enterprise resource planning. Okay, this is all the uh, application application under the e-commerce. Okay, using by the company, ERP, middleware, supply chain management, knowledge management, customer relation management. Okay, so let's look at 
what is it? Okay. The new era of cross-functional integrated application. Okay, under the e business. Okay. CRM is the customer relationship management. ERP is enterprise resource learning. Sub CM is the supply chain management. Sell CM is the selling chain management. PM is procurement management or operational resource. Middleware integrated application. KM is the knowledge management. Okay, and then let's look at the. Okay, for example, the customer relationship management. Okay, uh, in terms of how you want to market. Okay, your product. Okay, uh, what is the sales? Okay, and service that you offer to the customer. Okay, so how about the ERP? ERP is the forecast and planning of your report. Okay. Purchasing and material management. How you want to purchase your your uh, your products? Okay, with the supplier and then inventory management. How you want to uh impact barang stock yang you dah beli. That is inventory. Dekat mana? Okay. Macam mana perkiraan dia? How you calculate your inventory? Okay. Finish product distribution and then accounting and finance also have using the uh, software. Okay. So most of the company using the software to uh, calculate for um, accounting and finance. So that is under ERP and then supply chain management is about the market demand. Resource and capacity constraint, and then real time scheduling. Okay, whether uh, if the supplier okay can uh um boleh tak hantar barang tu okay atau kalau ada yang sudah uh, order pada masa yang telah ditetapkan. Jadi the real time scheduling. Okay, so selling chain management. What is it? Product customization. Okay, pricing. What is the pricing? How to calculate for the price of the product? Contract and commission management. Okay, if you uh, hire a salesman, okay, what is the percentage of commission that you need to pay? And then put and proposal generation, promotion management. Okay, so yeah, how do you want to promote your product to the uh, to the customer, okay, and then procurement management is about the office supplies, okay, business travel, entertainment, service contracting, IT, and network, okay. So, knowledge management, data warehousing, business analytics, executive info system, and decision support system, okay. So, middleware is just uh, ERP integration application. So middleware, dekat tengah-tengah. Okay. Okay. So they have uh, partners, suppliers, okay, this is the users, and then the stakeholders, the investor, so the shareholders, okay. bank, financial institution, that is the stakeholder, customer distribution, and employees. So this is we call it as uh, architect of the business. Okay, so that okay, yes. That's all okay for the e-commerce enabling the technology. Okay. So let's uh have a rest about okay, kita rehat some five to four sekarang 10.46 until okay, 10 minutes okay. we can start we should start on 10.57 ok class let's take a break ok 10 minutes
Okay, the first one, let's do okay, business to business. Okay, business to business e-commerce is simply defined as e-commerce between companies. Companies with other companies. Okay, this is the type of e-commerce that deals deal with the relationship between and among businesses. Okay. B2B is the portion of the internet market that is tied to the transaction between business operation and their partners in marketing, sales, development, manufacturing and support. It is the largest portion of the internet marketplace and the fastest growing. Okay, B2B is the uh, largest internet marketplace. Okay? About 80% of e-commerce of this type, that is B2B, and most experts predict will continue to grow faster than the B2C segment. Okay? B2B is all about the transaction between one organization and their partners. Any transaction or information associated with okay, development, manufacturing, okay, delivery, sales, and support of products or service is a candidate for a business business system. For example, Shopee company, okay, they have the B2B with other company for delivery. Uh, service delivery, for example, GNT or Shopee Express, okay, and then uh, what else? Uh, a DHL, okay, DHL is also a company for transportation, okay, or logistics. So they have their own uh, medium in order for them to communicate, all right. So that is some of the example of B2B. And then most of B2B applications are in the areas of supply management. Okay. Especially purchase order processing. Okay. Inventory management. For example, order ship build cycle. Okay. That is the inventory management. Distribution management. Okay. How you want to ship your, uh, the product. Okay. Especially in the transmission of shipping documents. The okay. channel management, for example, information dissemination, ataupun changes in operation for our condition, and also payment management. There is EPS. Okay, that they want to uh, make a payment okay, between the company, between the company business. Okay, then just use electronic. Payment system, okay, the system that is used by both companies. Okay, so the B two B market has two primary components. Okay, that is in e infrastructure and e market. Okay, e infrastructure is about the architectures of B two B that include the logistics. Okay, that is transportation, warehousing. And distribution, okay, and then the application of the service provider, for example, deployment, hosting, and management of the software from central facility, okay. And what else? The infrastructure, uh, e infrastructure outsourcing, okay, outsourcing of function in the process of e commerce, such as web hosting, security, customer care solution, for example. Outsourcing providers such as Isha, Netsale, IXL Enterprise, and Universal, etc. The outsourcing of function. And then, what? Banyak lagi. Auction solution software for the operation and maintenance of real time options in the internet. For example, more technology and open technology that is the auction solution software. And then, uh, other e e infrastructure is content management software for the facilitation of website content management and delivery. For example, Kiosk.net. Okay, what else? They also have a web-based commerce enabler. 
for example, Commerce One, okay, XML, and able to choosing automation software. So that is all the e infrastructures that did apply by the business to this map. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay. About B two B is e market are simply defined as website. Okay. We already know where the buyers and sellers interact with each other and conduct transactions. Okay. The more common B two B examples and best practice model are IBM, HP, Cisco, Dell. Okay, Cisco for instance, okay, it received over ninety percent of its product order over internet. Ah, yeah. So between the business itself, they also order under uh, for uh, over the, via, via the internet only. Alright. So that is business to business. Okay, they have their own infrastructure. Okay, they have their own application. Okay, that they apply between uh, the business. Okay, let's look now to the second model that is business to consumer. Okay, business to consumer e-commerce or commerce between companies and consumer involves customer of course they gather the information for example purchasing digital goods tangible goods such as books or consumer products okay my also my book also okay reference to also buying online okay at shopping <laughs> okay or information goods or goods of electronic material or digitized content Okay, such as software or ebook. Okay, you also can purchase ebook. Okay, online and for information goods, receiving product software and electronic network. That is business to consumer. So you already understand there that about the most business to consumer. Okay, it is the second largest. Okay, before the first largest is the B two B. Second largest is B2C and the earliest form of e-commerce. Okay. The first uh when the e-commerce is starting, okay, the, the company used B2C. Okay. Its origin can be traced to online retailing or e-tailing. Thus, the more common B2C business model are the online retailing companies such as Okay, as I mentioned before, okay, in US, the most largest B2C is Amazon.com. You can get all products, many types of items, okay, through Amazon.com. Okay, drugstore.com, okay, beyond.com, Barnes and Noble, and Toy Story. Okay, so the more common application of these types of e-commerce are in the area, okay, of course, in the area of purchasing the products and information, personal finance management, which pertains to the management of personal investment and finance with the use of online banking tools. Okay, B2C e-commerce, okay, actually reduce the transaction cost. Particularly search cost. Okay, by increasing consumer access to information and allowing consumer to find the most competitive price for a product or service. Okay. So if you want to search one of the product, okay. Uh, physic in physical store, you need to go out and you need to park your, your car. Okay? So after one shop, you must go to another shop. Okay? It's very difficult. So it will incur more cost. Okay, So by using online, it will reduce the cost of searching. Okay? B2C commerce reduce market entry barriers. Okay? Reduce since the cost of putting, putting and maintaining a website is much cheaper than installing 
a bit of my thoughts for so far. So, so I think very easy. Uh, pay for the cost of website is more. Um, the price is more lower than the it must uh, rent for a building. Okay. That is the more low cost of the more and more passion. In the case of information goods, actually B2C e-commerce is even more attractive because it saves firms from factoring in the additional cost of a physical distribution network. Okay. So moreover, for countries with a growing and robust internet competition, delivery information could become increasingly difficult. Okay. So next is uh, what else? Okay, types of B2C. There are also types of B2C of e-commerce. Not all e-commerce commerce is about retail. There here is an extended list of B2C electronic products. For example, full front retail product offer for sale with the revenue on sale. And then shopping mall, multiple retailers with revenue from commission of this higher. Auction, the vendors or buyer pay fixed price or percentage. And then portal, so this type of the DTC, aggregation of service and content with mixed revenue. Okay. Name of your uh, name your price type offer buyers to sellers for commission of fifty comparison pricing type compare retailers and receive introduction fee on advertising okay. and then demand sensitive pricing type combines group demand to buy in the box free product or service okay. Site makes money from collecting data from visitors. Okay. And then business exchange. Site facilitates transaction between companies for a fee. Recruitment. Job hunter or companies facing me. Okay. For example, uh, what is the website? It's using the recruitment menu. Mau kerja, to job street. Uh, what else? Okay, my future jobs. Okay, this is a lot of recruitment job and company. Okay, and then affiliate scheme. I think site offer introduction fees for other side, and then service rental. Okay, site allows software service to be rented. Okay, membership fee for regular content or service. Gambling, lose money by paying fees. Classify advertising. Advertise for us. Okay, so that is parts of the B to C, right? Okay, let's look at uh, business to government. Okay, so business to government e-commerce is generally defined as commerce between companies and the public sector. Okay, public sector is the government. It refers to the use of the internet for public procurement, okay, licensing for the procedure, and other government related operations. And then this kind of e commerce has two features. First, the public sector assumes leading role in establishing e commerce, okay, and then second, it is assumed that the public sector has the creative need for making its procurement system more effective. Okay. With a web-based purchasing policy, increase the transparency of the procurement process, okay, and then reduce the risk of irregularity. However, the size of B2G e-commerce market as a component of total e-commerce is insignificant as government is procurement system remain under deficit. Okay. Because uh, the size of the market is insignificant. Okay. It's just for a uh, government itself. Okay. Okay. Not every business using that. 
So because of that, it is undervalued. Okay. So let's look at the consumer to consumer. Okay. Consumer to consumer e-commerce or C to C is simply commerce between the private individuals or consumer. Okay, this type of e-commerce is characterized by the growth of electronic marketplace on an online options, particularly in the vertical industry, where the firms can bid, okay, can bid for what they want from among multiple suppliers, that is customer, consumer to consumer. It perhaps has the greatest potential for developing new market. That is CTC. Okay, at least it comes with the three forms. Okay, that is uh, for the C to C model. Okay, for the first one, like auction facilitated at a portal, such eBay. Okay, this is the most. Uh, Popular example okay, for option facilitated at a portal. That if you want to sell, if you want to sell iPhone 13, okay, you, you want to buy iPhone 14, and so you can sell your your iPhone through eBay. Okay, you are the consumer, and then you want to uh, sell it in eBay. Okay, so that is thing that is C to C. All right using the auction model okay and then the second one is peer to peer system such as next the model a protocol for sharing files between users use the chat by chat forum similar to IRC and other file exchange and user monitor models and classified at, at portals such as Excite, classified, and e wanted. Okay, an interactive online marketplace where buyer and seller can negotiate with each other by leads and wanted. Okay, that is the example types of C to C e commerce. Okay, is there any question that you want to ask regarding C to C, G to C, B to C, and B to B. Any question, class? Joshua, the soalan. Eh, bukan D, B lah. <laughs> Salah cakap ke? B to C. Uh -uh. Business to consumer. Yeah, yeah this is B2B tu maksudnya dia buat guna e-commerce antara business dengan business lah organisasi. And then B2C tu means that uh, business tu jual produk kepada consumer. Kalau business tu government maknanya kalau ada uh, kita nak bayar tax, okay? kita nak kena uh, daftar, register register untuk uh, company ke, kita just guna online. Okay, that is the b 2 B to G, okay. Uh, contoh kalau you nak beli uh, beli roket kereta, right? Eh? So sekarang ni boleh guna online saja. So tak perlu pergi dekat JPJ untuk beli roket. Okay, that is some of the example of B to G. Okay, so business to government, and then consumer to consumer tu maknanya you nak jual barang-barang uh, yang tu pakai uh, melalui online, okay? So that is consumer to consumer. Okay, clear everyone. All right. So let's look at the video. 